everybody, this is 22 Tiger Dude here, and welcome to my Blu ray DVD update. Of course, you know, this is where I show you guys the movies that I have bought and were whether they're Blu-ray or DVD movies. I went to go see the movie Money Monster. Finally went to go see the movie for $5 Tuesdays because Cinemark has discount days, so I took advantage of it. Went ahead and saw the movie, so I'll review Money Monster whenever I have a chance. And after Money Monster, I went to Walmart with my mom because she went to go see Money Monster with me. And while we were taking care of, you know, errands, I went ahead and figured, you know, why not buy some movies? I'm at Walmart. There's movies there that I still haven't bought and why not take advantage of it? So here I am. So enough chit chat you guys. Let's go ahead and get started. So the first one I've been wanting to get honestly for a couple of years. It took me a while to finally buy this one but when I saw it at Walmart and this being the last copy Walmart actually had in the movie shelves or something like that you know it's like why not finally get it especially with the reboot remake whatever you want to call it coming out yes i finally got ghostbusters it is the double feature gift set i've been wanting to buy this for a while now and i finally have it and this does have Ghostbusters 1 and 2. It's a very beautiful set. Really like this. And it is for just the DVD. So Ghostbusters, I personally thought that was a great film. It's a brilliant comedy. It is just the definition of a brilliant movie that meshes horror and comedy very, very well. You know, Bill Murray, Harold Ramis, and Dan Aykroyd, they have such amazing chemistry. They're honestly one of the greatest trios in movie history. That's just my own opinion, but I'm sure a lot of people can agree with that, honestly. It just has amazing visuals. You know, for the time this movie was made, it just has amazing visuals. It has one of the most original concepts as well. I love the concept of this film. You know, the ghost busting scenes, whenever it's there, it's just a lot of fun to watch. And of course, it has one of the greatest theme songs of all time. Who are you gonna call? Ghostbusters! <clears throat> so, I am a huge fan of Ghostbusters. Uh, such a great movie, such a fun time. Ghostbusters 2, I'm gonna be honest with you guys, I have never seen Ghostbusters 2. However, I do plan to review Ghostbusters 2 before, you know, the Ghostbusters reboot remake comes out. I've already reviewed the first Ghostbusters on my channel back in, I believe, 2014. So if you guys actually want to check out my review for the first Ghostbusters, I'll leave a link in the description down below. And Ghostbusters 2, I will hopefully, uh, well, I'm pretty sure I'll do a review. Honestly, I'll I'll do a review of Ghostbusters 2 because so, like I reviewed the first why not review at least the second one before the movie comes out the one coming out in July so yeah the Ghostbusters double feature gift set is my purchase and it was only $9.96 so it was very good all right you guys now, the next movie is a movie that turned 30 years old this year. I absolutely love this movie, and I actually reviewed it last year as part of the 4th of July reviews I did, and that is Top Gun. I reviewed this movie with one of my good YouTube buddies, Joe Tufano, so if you guys want to check out my review where I go into more details with Top Gun, you know, feel free. You know what? I'll even leave a link to that as well. Whatever. I'll leave a link to that. This is one of those movies that honestly screams 80s wow and it's just so much fun i mean tom cruise uh val kilmer and then who else who else kelly mcgillis they're all really great in this film and just this movie knew exactly what it wanted to be. It was cheesy, it had the nice, fun 80s cheesiness to it, but when the movie needed to be serious, it got serious, and even the serious moments were handled so well. The movie knew how to balance serious moments and cheesy moments, and there's actually a lot of depth to Tom Cruise's character as you get to learn more about him, and of, and of course, the flying sequences, those were a ton of fun to watch as well. 
Honestly, like I said, if you want to see me go into more details with this film, you could already check out my review that I did with Joe Tufano, but Top Gun, you know, Happy 30th anniversary. I'm happy to actually own this movie on DVD on its 30th anniversary. I couldn't be any happier for this movie. Uh, just such a great movie. It's so much fun in my opinion. And it was only $7.50 at Walmart. All right, the next film is The Revenant. The Revenant was like, I think about $14.96. Yeah, it was like $14.96 at Walmart and I gotta say, this is hands down one of the best movies of 2015. Yes, granted, um, it didn't release in my area until January 2016, so I got to see it in theaters earlier this year in January 2016, but it's considered a 2015 film, and I do consider it a 2015 film, and yes, I still have to do my best list, so whenever I get around to that list, you're definitely going to see this film in there for sure, but what else is there to be really said about The Revenant. Pretty much most of the reviews, the positive reviews you've been reading or watching have said all. This is just spectacular. The cover says it right here. Spectacular in every sense of the word. I have to agree with that. Peter Travers from Rolling Stone said that and I couldn't agree more. Leonardo DiCaprio, Tom Hardy, Domino Gleeson, um, the kid from the Maze Runner. Oh, there you go. Will Poulter. They're all fantastic in this film. Cinematography is so freaking beautiful. How Alejandro G. Inarritu directed this film was honestly an accomplishment. And the fact that this film had natural lighting, wow. And then, of course, the most talked about scene in this film, the bear scene, that was just, whoa. That was just, yeah, that was quite a scene. <laughs> That's all I'm going to say, but this movie is very intense. It builds suspense. The score is beautiful. The direction is amazing. The writing is fantastic. Now, yes, if I have to mention flaws, yes, the film does have its slow pacing. And yes, there are a few images that didn't really have to be there. They do come off more as pretentious, if I have to be honest. But honestly, other than just like maybe a few flaws I had with the film, it's fantastic in my opinion. I love The Revenant and I'm happy to own this movie because just wow. And Leonardo DiCaprio finally won that Oscar. So that was awesome. And now the last film that I bought. It is honestly one of the best films of 2015. I love this film. Um, I'm glad to finally own it because I've been wanting to buy it for a while. That film is Straight Outta Compton. Yes, this is the Blu-ray DVD digital HD, um, you know, the combo pack for Straight Outta Compton. It is the unrated director's cut and it also includes the theatrical version. Um, I love this movie, guys. This was actually, fun fact, the first movie of 2015 to get my highest four out of four star movie. It actually took me until August in 2015 to get my first four out of four star movie and this managed to be the first movie I gave four out of four stars to last year. And wow. I just can't wait to rewatch this movie because what I saw in theaters truly blew me away. On a filmmaking standpoint, on performances standpoint, you know, everyone that portrayed the NWA, everyone that portrayed them did a, such a great job. Paul Giamatti was great here. The direction, the writing is just phenomenal. And the dramatic moments, man, do they just hit you in the face. Feels. This movie is just amazing in my opinion. I loved it from beginning to end. I was never bored. It is like a two hour and 30 minute long movie somewhere around there and man I was fully invested. It was only 1996 at Walmart. So there you go straight out of Compton. Well, you guys, that does conclude my Blu-ray DVD update in the comments down below. Let me know what you think about Ghostbusters 1 and 2, Top Gun, The Revenant, and Straight Outta Compton. 
Also, you guys, if you don't follow me on Universe of the Blue Tubers, that is a channel where I get to collab with the other Blue Tubers, and I do videos there. I do plan to unbox Ghostbusters and Straight Outta Compton on that channel. So if you guys don't follow that channel, I'll I will leave a link in the description down below. Thank you so much for watching this, you guys. You're all very awesome. I always appreciate your guys' support. You have no idea how much your support means to me. So this is 22 Tiger Dude here, and don't forget that I will always have Tiger Power.